this video, I would like to show you how easy it is to perform a gluten tox pro test. To do this, I'm going to test some gluten-free cookies. Step one, using a pestle and water, break down the cookies into a fine crumb. Put the sample aside and clean the bench with ethanol. Step two, remove the following components from the box. One extraction buffer, a bottle with a yellow cap, one dilution buffer, a bottle with a blue cap, one disposable scoop, two disposable pipettes, and the tube that contains the Gluten Tox Pro strips. Step three, add two level scoops of the cookie crumbs to the extraction buffer. Note that the number of scoops of a sample that need to be added will depend on the type of sample. An easy to interpret guide is supplied in the kit instructional manual. Step four, shake the mixture vigorously by hand for two minutes. Step five, place the container on a flat surface and allow the solids to settle to the bottom. Normally settling takes about five minutes, but it can take longer. Wait until a thick band of clear liquid forms. Step six, I want to determine whether the sample contains more than five ppm gluten. Thus, I need to add 10 drops of the extract to the dilution buffer. The limit of detection can be adjusted by adding less of the extract to the dilution buffer. You will find an easy to interpret table in the kit manual, which illustrates how many drops should be added when a higher LOD is required. Step seven, using the second disposable pipette, remove some of the dilution extract. Pipette roughly 10 drops into an inverted blue cap. Step eight, Open the tube that contains the Gluten Tox Pro sticks and carefully remove one stick without disturbing the rest. Step nine, place the cotton wool side of the strip, meaning the sample zone, into the blue cap. Step 10, allow the test to run for 10 minutes. It is important to check the results at the 10 minute mark. Step 11, read the results. If a red and blue line appears, it means that gluten was detected. If only a blue line appears, it means that no gluten was detected. And if only a red line or no line appears, it means that the test is invalid. The intensity of the red line will give you an indication of how much gluten is in the sample. If the line is dark and prominent, it means that there is a lot of gluten in the sample. If it's faint and transparent, it means that there is not a lot of gluten in the sample. 